Although James Mitchell was an in-ring talent at one point early in his career, he's most known for his out-of-the-ring managerial status that he had in WCW, ECW, and even Smoky Mountain Wrestling at the beginning of his career. The first person that he actually managed was a mummy, and that gimmick actually flopped. And then he went on to manage a samurai, which that gimmick flopped. And then he went to WCW and managed Mortis around 1997. Now, at one point, he is the father of Abyss in TNA. Father James Mitchell has managed Abdullah the Butcher, Iron Sheik, Paul Orndorff, Jimmy Garvin, Mortis, Wrath, Mikey Whipwreck, Tajiri, Jerry Lynn, Balls Mahoney, Raven, Christopher Daniels, Abyss, Black Rain, and Judas Messias at the very end of his career. In WCW, he had a very, very awesome, awesome segment called Vandenberg's Auditorium because he went by the name of James Vandenberg at the time. And it was a very, very great segment. It was very dark and black. You can only see a part of his face, but he did talk about what was going on in the world of professional wrestling, and it was a very great segment. If you want to check it out, check it out in the description below. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on James Mitchell. Tony Pete's guy. Frag out. Now, I recorded this video, and I forgot to mention that James Mitchell is one of the most underused wrestlers in the business his managerial status should have been a lot higher he should have made it to the grandest stage of them all wrestlemania but for whatever reason his career never took that path honestly i loved him and think he should have been a lot bigger than he was